Hello everyone, welcome back to Coding Sky again. Okay, in this video we go to lesson 26, variable with the B. Okay, so let's start. Collect all honey and make all the nectar. Okay, so this puzzle we have, I think we have since it before. Okay, so let's go. Just go with the loop. Okay, with the loop. I think this one is should be three times. Okay, I need to move forward, and after that, I get the nectar, and after that, I move it forward, and after that, I get and make the honey, after that, I turn left. Okay, I think that's cool. Okay, that's complete. Okay, let's finish this code so that the bee can collect all of the honey and the nectar. Okay, you just need to put the number of repeat time here. How much, how many, or what's, what number that you should put it here. So we see the counter is two. So you have to move about one, two, okay. So what you have to do, just go to variable and choose this. Okay, or two, and next you just go that, use that variable, okay, let me try, and click run, okay, okay, finish. Okay, change starting value of variable so that the bee can collect all of the honey and nectar. So for the first if this flower three honey honeycomb three. Okay, what you have to change is change this number. Change the number of the variable counter to three. So it will be move forward for three and get three, get nectar three. And after that, make the honey for three two. Okay, run. Okay, complete. Continue. Okay, in this puzzle, each part is one space further away and has one more nectar and get one more honey to make. Okay, add one. To the variable each time you go through the loop. Okay, by this, in this, you have to use the variable this chain. Okay, every loop you have passed, this main loop, you have to change the counter by one because this step you have one increased by one. For the first is one, another one is one, two, and this one, one, two, and three to arrive the flower. Run it. Okay, complete, and we continue. So this puzzle follow the same pattern, but it is extended to the a fourth part. Add one more, add one to the number of time at the main loop. Repeat to continue this pattern. Okay, we just add this to four and run again. Okay. Okay, complete it, continue. Okay, what is different this time? In the last couple puzzle, we need to change the variable by one for each new part. Okay, this time, each part is two space further and has two more nectar to get and two more honey to make. So, you just change this by two, not one, okay? Change this number. What can you see? Okay, here. Okay. 
continue, complete this puzzle. Okay, finish the code to show this puzzle, okay? What should the value of variable be at the start? Okay, and how many times should you go through this main loop? Okay, how much should you change variable by each time? So you can see in order to write this flower, you have two space, right? Two, I mean the two move forward, one, two. So this counter move forward. So the, the first, it should be, the number should be number two, right? And we have the long way. This long way we have only, I think this one, it should be three times. Okay, let's try. Oh, one more, this one. This chain by one, two, and this one, one, two, three, four. So it should be by two. Okay, this one should be two. Four. Four, add two, and it's six. Okay. Okay, complete. Continue. So for this time, create your own code to solve this puzzle. So it just need uh, rethinking about it. For you need one step to write a flower and next one and two. So increase by one, right? And for the first number of the counters, one. After that, two. And after that, this one is three. So you go to the variable and set the our counter to be one. And you need the main loop here. This main loop should be run for three times. And after that, you need to move forward loop with the counter. I use, I use this, okay, for faster. Okay, I'll move forward like that. And after that, you get the nectar, okay. Get the nectar, you go here, use the counter with the loop again and get the nectars here and after that you need one step more to move forward to arrive this honeycomb so you still use loop again this loop should be loop with the counter or the move forward again okay and after that you need the loop again with the counter to get the honey to make the honey after make the honey, you have to turn to right. After turn to right, you have to change the variable by one. Okay, increase the number of counter by one. Okay, let's try. Okay, continue. Okay, do you recognize this staircase? Okay, from the other lesson. Okay, give this puzzle a try. So, what you have to do is we have to step forward to a right flower. Another one is two, another one three. So, you still use the same pattern again. Set the counter for one. You need the main loop here. I think it should be one, two, and three. Okay. 3 okay and after that you need the loop for the counter and after that of the move over here and need the loop again with a counter no counter here you have to turn right first okay this time no move over turn right and after that you have to move forward by the number of the counter and after that you need the loop again to make the honey okay after make the honey you have to turn to left again after turn left this pattern will be work again so you just change the number of the variable change by one okay let's try oh the 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 honey oh sorry for this it's not move forward this one is I forgot something move forward 
Okay, I forgot this loop. This loop is to get the nectar here. I forgot this. Sorry. Let's run again. Okay, this time it will collect all. Okay. That's cool. Go to the last puzzle of the lesson 26, what I bought with B, okay? This puzzle is a little different. What do you need to do? Okay, to show it. Okay, you can see you have two step forward to a right uh, the flower and after that it move forward one to get the honey to make the honey okay so what you have to do is you have to use the first you have to set the variable for the first I set the counter to one okay and after that I need the main loop this main loop we have one two three and four so four times and after that I use the loop for this time I use the while parts ahead while parts ahead I move it forward okay after it move forward I use the loop again with a counter to collect the nectar here let's try okay it get the nectar after get the nectar you have to turn the bee to the right okay after turn right you have move one step forward and use the loop again and to get the to make the honey and this way you can make you can make the honey and get the nectar of for the first and next what you have to do is just change the number of time the num the the number of variable counter here and I change it by two because next step the number of the flower is not one not two it's three so we collect here for the first step is collect one one plus two it will be three here okay let's go okay Oh, something wrong here. The number of the flower I do not collect all. What is the problem here? Okay. Let me. Okay, sorry for this. I use the set counter, not change no, change number for this. Change. Okay, sorry. By two. Sorry. Okay, this one will be work. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Finish it. Okay. So that's all for the lesson 26 variable with P. I hope you all guys learn something from this video okay don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon see you again in the next video okay